Well, good morning again from Calgary. Um, I did try to, uh, to do another video blog there a few months ago, but my tablet um, has to resort in continuing because my laptop, Chromebook, I forgot to bring the wrong charger with me. So um, I have to delete that other one if you see it. But yeah, I thought I'd give a little f um, feedback of what happened last night at the trans demonstration. The power building was different, um, I said for 15 minutes beforehand, but it was different the way it was done. Um, I wasn't fully taken out of the power building altered state come, um, before the demonstration. I was kind of half in, half out. Um, I knew it wasn't just me in the room at the time. I was just sitting in the, the um, circle room by myself and uh, used a bit of music as I normally would, and built the power up. Um, then went in to do the demonstration. Our chairperson, Anna, uh, asked me beforehand, would she give me a little nod when it's 45 minutes is up for the first half of the session? I said, well, the spirit, we're in control, so they'll do that. Um, so that was one experiment I was leaving to, to see what happened. It was the timing right. Um, but Albert did his demonstration of mediumship and um, he came forward and spoke and um, we were he stood up as well and considering I was only like half a foot even less than half a foot from the edge of the platform and him moving about it was fine no bother Um we've moved a little bit before but never um, right on the edge of a platform so there was good control there for that and then he decided to turn to Anna halfway through and said can we do an experiment and uh, Albert proceeded then to do trans communication in, 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 in the form of almost like trans clairvoyance more so than um, bringing loved ones through and them speaking directly. So it was trans clairvoyance more so. And he had three contacts he brought through, each time only um, one recipient as well. The information he gave was so spot on, even down to location in Winnipeg being. Um, included for the first communication which was actually absolutely accepted as well actually turned out to be for the chairperson as well and the three communications were very appropriate for the um for the three recipients as well too so the information i was told was uh, very spot on with it as well in, in the detail and uh, so that was interesting what Inside, I ha I was feeling it was nervous. It's a new concept. It would never done a, a public demonstration like that at all. So I was out of my comfort zone, uh, most definitely. Um, I inside was going, oh my god, this is really happening. What if this goes wrong? Um, so I had all those fears. It's the natural part. I mean, you know, mediumship changes, especially when they do they do it on the fly and last minute without any notice to that degree. I knew something different was happening with the power build and that was it. Um, so it was only during the demonstration Albert said he wanted to try that out. We've only done that in a training situation before. Um, would have been a year ago when it was done. Couldn't, that was more with, with the trans communication to the fullest degree with two loved ones coming forward and speaking through me as well, just for a few moments um, and evidence being accepted. So it's a new area of my mediumship um, looking forward to seeing where that goes but what what you the really take about it is like I'm still fearful when changes happen with my mediumship and that too and it is pushing boundaries as well so for your own mediumship allow the opportunity for new boundaries to be pushed and uh, and see what comes in once as I always say as I said to the group last night it's done with respect and um, honesty um, integrity of your mediumship for both the recipient and the communicator in spirit that's fine that's good that's good in my books and that be unique with your mediumship be different and um, Albert's certainly pushing me to be do something different that I would never have thought in my wildest days I would have done especially um, come to a, a, a new center a new place and to do something completely different um, as well so it, it, it's certainly been a, already a journey in itself 
um, for, to have this new aspect come forward while over here in Canada. So looking forward to seeing what else happens in the next little while too. But um, lovely Gateway Centre, lovely people there from even one, one guy from Dublin there too, which I wasn't expecting. Um, so it's, it, it's a lovely place to be. And then in the second half, we just did a, a question and answers session as well, uh, but the observations of what happened in the first half and, and then different aspects of trance explain the different ways it works and that too. And um, the interesting part of that other experiment I said about the time, Albert turned to Anna and said after his third communication, about a moment or two after he spoke a bit more, to say, isn't it right? We we're just coming to a 45 minutes. We we're finishing up. How wonderful. And uh, again, and Anna said, yes, we're actually just about there. So um, we were. Um, we would have started the demonstration. I would have went in around 7 o'clock. And I did my talk. And I did a little introduction. And I did a talk then. So we would have started um, at just a, a not long after 7. And we finished not long after 10 to 8. So 45 minutes was achieved. And that so. Um, which is good in that sense. Spirit know their timing, so even though they say the time doesn't exist in that side. So, looking forward to see what else happens over the next week with the demonstration and the workshop this weekend too. There's a lovely room, ideal room for trans and physical. Um, so, we're going to have a go and see what happens. Alright, talk to you again.